Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be looking at port forwarding. So in this diagram we have two segments, we have a WAN and a LAN. So what happened in port forwarding is that say for instance this PC on this side uh, wants to connect to the web server on the LAN and you have configured port forwarding. What will happen is that say for instance you allow the PC to connect to the one port or the one IP using the one IP and port 8080. However, your web services is running on a different network which is 88.254 and is running on port 80. And the port forwarding is what you will use to achieve this. So all the traffic that is coming through the network from the one port that is destined for port 880 will be redirected to port 80 on the local network. So we are going to go ahead and configure a, sim a similar scenario to this in the router and show you how it really works. Alright so first thing that you need to do is to access your DHCP client and you're going to go to IP DHCP client and you need to know what your one IP is which is 192.168.11.196 alright the next step is you need to know the destination and the port that you're trying to connect to so what I have here we're going to go to the DHCP server so what we have here is that I have a Raspberry Pi that has an IP of 192.168.88.254 and what, what, what we're going to set up is we're going to do a, a port forwarding that redirects traffic that is coming in on port 8080 to port 80 on the Raspberry Pi because I have an Apache web server that is running on the Raspberry Pi on port 80. So we're going to go to IP firewall and you're going to go to NAT add and we're going to cre create a new destination NAT. So the source IP So the destination IP where the traffic is going to would be a one port. So it's 192.168.11.196. Protocol is TCP and the destination port is 8080. So this is what the you will be connecting, the user would be connecting to. So what we're going to do next is that the action that we're going to take is that we're going to do a destination NAT. So we're going to change the address that it's going to. We're going to change that to 192.168.88.254 and the port that we're going to redirect the traffic to is port 80. We're going to call this Raspberry Pi server. You can call it Raspberry Pi web server. Alright, so Raspberry Pi web server. Okay. So destination address, which is the one port, because we are connecting from the one. The destination port is port 880. And then now that traffic will be redirected to the Raspberry Pi, which has, has the web service running on port 80 of the Raspberry Pi. Alright, so now we are going to do a test and see how, how, how it works. So we're going to open the browser and we are going to connect to 192.168. Dot eleven dot one ninety six. You use a semicolon and then you type the port. 
port 8080. So you always use a semicolon and then put the port afterwards. Then enter. So now, if you realize what has happened is that this is the address this is the address that we we went to the traffic was redirected to 192.168.88.254 alright so so if we go back to winbox we see that we have some traffic over over the port so that is really how you go about doing a port forwarding there are a lot of things that you can do with this this is just a basic a uh, use case for port forwarding but you can use this for many for many um, applications say for instance you have a video surveillance system or you might have a like an, a NAS or you know something on your network that you need to access externally but you don't want to use the same port or advertise the same port that the service is running on and that is where you'll use port forwarding to really People use it's really for security most of the time because you don't want anyone to know the actual port that your service is running on. Not to mention if it is a well-known port. Say for instance your web server which is port 80. You might want to run, run um, redirect using a different port. That's how you go about setting a port forwarding. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe. So that's it. And thanks for watching.